In the world of military aviation, speed is more than a number. It is an embodiment of territory, dominance, and absolute superiority in the sky. Today, we're going to travel through time and through altitude and explore the 10 fastest operational American military aircraft ever built. Ranked from the slowest to the fastest to the absolute record breaker. And then at the very end, we will go beyond the normal boundary to one machine that wasn't built for combat at all, and yet remains the fastest aircraft ever flown by a human being. Let's begin. At number 10, the B-1B Lancer. Mach 1.25, or about 951 miles per hour. A bomber on this list may surprise some viewers, but the B-1B isn't just a bomber, it's one of the fastest swept wing variable geometry aircraft ever built. Designed during the Cold War for high-speed penetration of Soviet air defenses, the Lancer is capable of sprinting into enemy territory at supersonic speeds, then dropping to low altitude where it can fly nap of the earth to evade radar. Its four General Electric F-101 engines generate enormous thrust, and the aircraft's wing sweep mechanism lets the B-1 transform from a wide-winged long-range aircraft to a supersonic dart when speed is required. Even though it is now primarily used for subsonic strike missions, its ability to cross the sky faster than many fighters is a reminder of just how ambitious American aviation once was. At number 9, the F-35A Lightning II, Block 4 configuration. Mach 1.6 or about 1,217 miles per hour. Now, compared to many legacy fighters, the F-35 is not the fastest jet ever built, but speed is only a part of its deadliness. This aircraft represents a new type of warfare. Stealth, sensor fusion, data networking, situational awareness. The Lightning II does not need to be the fastest in a straight-line chase because the enemy rarely sees it coming. Still, its ability to break the sound barrier and sustain supersonic flight allows it to reposition rapidly to ingress and egress contested airspace and to outrun older generation fighters when required. Its aerodynamic design, particularly the blended body fuselage and leading-edge strakes, allow for efficient supersonic drag characteristics, and its single Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine is one of the most powerful fighter engines ever built. The Lightning might not win the raw speed contest, but in real combat it often wins before the fight even begins. At number 8, the FA-18EF Super Hornet Block 3. Mach 1.8, or about 1,370 miles per hour. Designed for naval aviation and carrier operations, the Super Hornet is a rugged, versatile fighter that often trades raw speed for maneuverability, reliability, and multi-role capability. But do not underestimate it, when clean and unloaded, this aircraft is capable of surging past Mach 1.8, making it one of the fastest carrier-based aircraft in history. The Block 3 upgrades introduced conformal fuel tanks, improved avionics, enhanced ASA radar performance, and reduced drag at high speeds, all contributing to its improved supersonic dash profile. The Super Hornet might not have the glamorous reputation of the Tomcat, but it is newer, more modern, more efficient, and still operating on the carrier decks of the U.S. Navy in 2025, which is an achievement by itself. At number 7, the F-16 CD Fighting Falcon, Block 7072, Mach 2.0 or about 1,522 miles per hour. The F-16 is like a fighter pilot's extension of body and mind, small, fast, agile, and honest in its handling. When it comes to speed, the Falcon can easily outrun many contemporary jets. Thanks in part to its low weight to thrust ratio and aerodynamically clean fuselage, the Block 7072 version incorporates modernized avionics, a fully modern glass cockpit, APG-83 Sabre ASA radar, upgraded electronic warfare systems, and structural reinforcement that gives it extended airframe life. 
Despite being a design from the late 1970s, the newest F-16 versions feel contemporary and lethal. And that raw Mach 2 capability keeps it in the elite speed category even in 2025. At number 6, the F-4E Phantom II. Mach 2.23, or about 1,697 miles per hour. A true Cold War legend. The Phantom was once America's frontline fighter, interceptor, and strike aircraft. It could do air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strike, reconnaissance, suppression of enemy air defenses, all at blistering speeds. When it entered service, it shattered performance expectations, holding multiple speed and altitude records. The Phantom's iconic design, large air intakes, slab tail, shock-forming nose, is unmistakably built for speed. Even today, modernized Phantom variants still fly for some nations. In its prime, it was a missile-launching radar-guided sledgehammer that enemy pilots feared. And part of that fear came from how fast it could appear out of nowhere. At number 5, the F-22 Raptor. Mach 2.25 or about 1,712 miles per hour. The world's most dominant air superiority fighter today, the Raptor combines stealth, speed, maneuverability, and next-generation avionics into a platform that changed the meaning of air combat. But here's one fact many people don't realize. While the Raptor's maximum speed is around Mach 2.25, it can fly at Mach 1.8 without afterburner. That's called Super Cruise. Very few aircraft on Earth can do that. In combat terms, this means the Raptor can outrun threats silently, without the huge infrared signatures or afterburners. It's not just fast, it's strategically fast, with thrust vectoring nozzles and an astonishing thrust-to-weight ratio. The F-22 can accelerate vertically, pivot mid-air, and maintain control at extreme angles of attack, all while staying on the high end of supersonic performance. At number 4, the F-14D Super Tomcat. Mach 2.34, or about 1,781 miles per hour. If speed has a cultural icon, it is the Tomcat. Powered by a pair of GE 110 turbofans, the D variant gave the Tomcat its final and most powerful evolution. With its dramatic wing sweep system, the F-14 could transform from a wide-wing low-speed catapult launcher into a swept-wing missile-chasing spear. In its prime, with a clean aerodynamic profile, the Tomcat could blast to Mach 2.34, and pilots report that even this number was conservative. The Tomcat was a hunter, designed to intercept enemy bombers far from the fleet, to launch the Phoenix missile, itself capable of speeds of Mach 5, long before the adversary even saw it. This was the naval defender of the Cold War era, and its speed made it a predator of the skies. At number 3, the F-15 EX Eagle II. Mach 2.5 or about 1,902 miles per hour. If the F-14 was the Navy's supersonic sword, the F-15 was the Air Force's supersonic hammer. The Eagle II, the newest generation of the legendary F-15, takes this to the modern age. With upgraded avionics, fly-by-wire systems, a stronger airframe, new ASA radar, and compatibility with next-gen weapons, the F-15X brings raw speed into the 21st century. Even with external stores, it can reach speeds above Mach 2.5. And without them, the Eagle II's clean airframe sprint capability is brutal. No American fighter has flown faster, and unlike the super-stealthy F-22 or F-35, the F-15X embraces brute force kinetic dominance, high speed, massive payload capacity, and overwhelming radar power. At number 2, the XB-70 Valkyrie. Mach 3.05, or approximately 2,321 miles per hour. This aircraft looks like something out of a retro-futurist's dream. The Valkyrie was designed in the early 1960s as a high-altitude Mach 3-class strategic bomber. 
one that could outrun Soviet interceptors and outrun even their anti-aircraft missiles. With its six massive turbojet engines, its ability to ride compression lift by folding its wingtips downward, and its astonishing cruising altitude of over 70,000 feet, the Valkyrie was unlike anything that flew before or after. Only two were ever built, and one was lost in a mid-air collision. But during its record-setting flight tests, the XB-70 demonstrated sustained flight at over Mach 3 a speed unimaginable for such a large aircraft. The Valkyrie never entered active service, but in terms of speed, it remains one of the greatest performers in American aviation history. At number 1, the SR-71 Blackbird Mach 3.3, or around 2,511 miles per hour. The legend, the undisputed champion of operational speed. The SR-71 wasn't just fast, it was speed incarnate. Designed by Lockheed's Skunk Works under the genius of Clarence Kelly Johnson, the Blackbird flew so fast that the only defense enemies could achieve was to launch missiles and hope the SR-71 eventually flew into where those missiles would be, because no missiles at the time could catch it from behind. The Blackbird actually used its own speed as defense. It simply outran everything. Its surface heated to hundreds of degrees during flight. Expansion gaps were intentionally built into the airframe, which leaked fuel on the ground, but sealed themselves during high-speed flight due to thermal expansion. The SR-71 was not just an aircraft, it was a symphony of physics and engineering, and nothing operational has surpassed it since. And now, beyond the ranking, the bonus aircraft, the fastest aircraft ever flown by a human. Faster than the SR-71, faster than anything that roared through the atmosphere before or after. The North American X-15 Mach 6.7 More than 4,520 miles per hour. This is not a fighter, not a bomber, not a reconnaissance aircraft. It was a rocket plane, a machine built to explore the edge of space. It carried pilots such as Neil Armstrong and Joe Engel, men who would later walk on the moon or command missions in space. The X-15 flew so high, above 80 miles, that its pilots were awarded astronaut wings. It was in every sense a vehicle that bridged the atmosphere and the cosmos, and its speed Mach 6.7 remains unmatched by any piloted aircraft in history. So while our top 10 list gives us the fastest combat and reconnaissance aircraft ever built, the X-15 stands in its own special category, as a testament to pure experimental audacity. The fastest wings ever flown by a human being. In the history of aviation, speed has always symbolized ambition. From the Phantom to the Raptor, from the Eagle II to the Valkyrie, from the Blackbird to the X-15. Each generation pushed the frontier further, and as we look into the future, one truth remains clear. Somewhere, in a hangar or in a classified hangar, the next champion of speed is already taking shape. But for now, the crown of human speed still belongs to these machines, forged from titanium, fuel, fire, and unstoppable desire to outrun time itself. What are your thoughts on the fastest U.S. aircraft? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.